What's happening, sports fans? How you doing? I am Kendrick, the sports guy. Good Saturday to you. And before we go any further, I want to wish you all a happy new year. I know it's not the new year yet, but I know this is the weekend. A lot of people are going to be planning their festivities. But do me one favor. Do me a solid. Just be responsible and stay safe. Now, I got a good one that I think my video, sports video game heads will dig. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, I got to give a shout out to Stoney the Great. He is a video content creator on TikTok. I just ran across him and he was talking about this video game that came out some years back. Sports video game, that is. Called the Black College Football Experience. And I was like, what? Never heard of it. Well, this video game was initially released in November 2007 on Windows-based PC. An Xbox 360 version titled the Doug Williams edition will be released two years later in November 2009. Now this game was created by Energize Entertainment Company out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The game featured 40 HBCU teams, bands, interactive halftime shows, stadiums, play-by-play -play commentary, and 10 classic games such as the Bayou Classic, Southern Heritage Classic, the Florida Classic, etc. Now the game would receive mixed reviews. It got a five and a half out of 10 by official Xbox Magazine. But there were some positive critiques uh, about this game as well. It said it looked fairly sharp for, it, for its time during the end and visually and that the developer built in a pretty entertaining playable halftime show with a pretty nifty in-game museum with good info on the schools, the, their players and their history. And you can hear a little bit of the Black College Experience music bed uh, underneath. I get, gotta give a shout out to my man. I, I put it, the music is by, you're gonna see that at the bottom. I was able to find some of that good old HBCU Black Band Entertainment. Take a listen, a quick little five seconds of that. Yeah, you know, that's the experience we go to, man. When you go to an HBCU game, it's nothing like the, like the halftime show and the band experience. And, you know, it's funny. I'm thinking about this game. You know, Coach Prime, when he took went to Jackson State a few years back, man, the light was shining brightly on HBCU athletics, specifically football. And, boy, would this game be a hit now if it was to somehow resurface and to be updated and upgraded and, and for all to see. Uh, I guarantee you it would sell. The only uh, obstacle would be that NIL. We got the name, image, image, and likeness deals now. So these players, if you develop this, these players will have to get a cut. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why the, uh, the NCAA uh, college football game stopped because college football players decided to sue and uh, because they weren't getting any other cut. So you hadn't seen that game on the market in a while. I think it's gonna come back. But the black college football experience, I think this game is dope. Uh, and according to, again, po positive reviews, they were saying that it, it, it was, uh, at that time, the visuals were really, really good. So I never played it. I never heard of anybody got it. I think you can find it on eBay, or probably, you know, probably Amazon or whatever, uh, if you want to try it out. Uh, to see what it looks like. So again, a shout out to uh, uh, Energize Entertainment for developing this game straight out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I think it's dope. And I think it's time for we, us to get another black college football uh, video game, black college athletics period. Put them in the game as well. So I'd like to know what you guys think about this story. Make sure you drop a comment and like the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I am Kendrick the Sports Guy. We will see you on the other side. And on the next report, I am out. Peace.